The spectral characteristics of hyperspectral imaging have been found extremely useful in many computer vision tasks, including classification, segmentation, and recognition. However, its widespread use is hindered by the low spatial resolution of the instruments that results from the hardware limitations. In this work, we propose a hyperspectral image super-resolution approach based on non-parametric Bayesian sparse representation. The proposed approach performs hyperspectral super-resolution in a four-step procedure, shown in the slide. Each of these steps is discussed in the following slides. As shown in the figure, a hyperspectral image can be represented as a three-dimensional cube. Each pixel of the image is an L-dimensional spectral signature. For computations, we arrange the spectral signatures as the columns of matrices, meaning an M by N cross L dimensional cube is treated as a matrix with L rows and M by N columns. In the first step, the approach learns the set of K probability distributions over the scene spectra. These distributions correspond to K spectrally distinct materials in the image scene. A set of corresponding K Bernoulli distributions is also inferred from the input spectra. These distributions represent the proportions of the materials in the image scene. Both of the distribution sets are inferred non-parametrically, using Bayesian framework. We place Gaussian priors over the distributions for the spectra. This enforces our prior belief of relative smoothness of the spectra. The distributions over the spectra are used for estimating a dictionary. Each of the k atoms of the dictionary is computed as the mean of the multiple samples that we draw from the corresponding distribution. The dictionary is transformed according to the spectral quantization of the available high-resolution image of the scene. In the third step, we use the transformed dictionary and the set of computed Bernoulli distributions to sparse code the high-resolution image. The proposed Bayesian sparse coding strategy is used to perform the sparse coding step. As mentioned in the paper, the proposed strategy performs the inferencing process Q times. The final sparse code matrix is computed by taking the mean of the inferred codes. A theoretical analysis is provided in the paper, supporting a rationale behind this approach. The finely computed codes are used with the estimated dictionary to compute the super-resolution hyperspectral image. To evaluate our approach, we follow the commonly used experimental protocol, in which the available hyperspectral images are used as the ground truth. The low spatial resolution image is constructed by taking the mean of 32 by 32 spatially disjoint blocks of the ground truth. The high resolution image is constructed by integrating the ground truth along its spectral dimension using a known spectral transform. We have conducted exhaustive experiments with two public hyperspectral databases and a remotely sensed image acquired by a virus sensor of NASA. For qualitative analysis, we display the spectral images of the input low-resolution image at wavelengths 460, 540, 620 nanometers. The corresponding spectral images of the ground truth are also shown. We compare these images with the spectral images of the reconstructed super-resolution hyperspectral image. The slide also shows the absolute difference between the ground truth spectral images and the corresponding reconstructed images. The results are in the range of 8-bit images. This slide shows results of a sample image from the Harvard database. Spectral images for the Avirus data of NASA are shown in this slide. The table shown in this slide benchmarks our approach on 7 images from the CAVE database. The given root mean squared error values are in the range of 8-bit images. This table displays results on 7 representative images from the Harvard database. In this table, we show the results of exhaustive experiments over the three public databases used in evaluation of the proposed approach. The proposed approach is not only able to outperform the existing state of the art, it is able to do so without explicit fine-tuning of the parameters for any given image. This distinct characteristic of the proposed approach comes from exploiting the non-parametric Bayesian framework.